Good day. Welcome to Open Buildings Design and Connect Edition session. For today's video, we would like to guide you on how to create structural drawings. We'll first start off with starting up Open Buildings Designer and opening our structural file. With this video, what we'll do is to make use of just the structural elements. So how do we create structural drawings? We'll go under Drawing Production, Floor Plan. We'll select Plan by Floor and we'll change the drawing seat to Structural Framing Plan. For the Floor Selector, we'll expand Building Floors to select Upper Terrace. For the view range, we'll choose Drawing Template and we'll set the forward range to 5000. The line view is kept at global coordinates and create drawing has to be selected. Left click anywhere on the view to create the drawing. Once the create drawing dialog box pops up, we'll rename it as Structural Upper Terrace. We'll create a drawing model and a sheet model. Under the drawing section, we will select file name in order to create a separate file for our drawing model. Once we create a new file, we'll name it as truck underscore drawing underscore plan. Repeat the same for the sheet model. Select file name, name the file as truck underscore sheet underscore plan. We'll leave the setting as it is and we'll select OK. Once it has successfully loaded, the best way to navigate to your drawing or sheet model is to use the markers. You can see it in view 2. If you're unable to see it just like in view 1, navigate to view 1's view attributes to turn on the markers. So now we can see it. So we'll hover over the marker. And when you select the drop down, we'll be able to navigate to either the drawing model, the icon in grey, or the sheet model, the icon in white. Let's go to the drawing model. So once we selected either the sheet or drawing model, we would open target. So this would open up the drawing or the sheet model. In our drawing model, this is where you can place your annotations. So to place those annotations, it's found under your drawing production, dimensions. We can select our dimensioning style, from here, we can place dimensionings for our structural model. If you're having difficulty snapping to certain elements, you can go under our snap mode and change the default snap to multi-snap one. Once we've placed some annotations, you can go to our sheet model, which can be easily navigated through the markers. So hover over the marker, look for the sheet model and open target. In fit view, and now you can see our structural plan. So, what if you want to create your sections? You can go to our trainee model by going to File, Structural File. In our structural file, we can go to our top view under Drawing Production, Build Create Section. We'll set the drawing seat to Struct Framing Section. In our top view, we'll place the first section callout. Move your cursor downwards to place your endpoint. Next, move your cursor to either left or right to define the direction. Left click the set. So you'll see the same create drawing dialog box and we'll name this structural section A. Just like our plan to we'll create a drawing model, we will select file name and we'll create a new file. We'll name it struct drawing section. Select save. Next, we'll create a new sheet model by selecting file name, create a new file, and we'll name it struct sheet section. Select save. If you want to see the sheet model automatically popped out or open, you can select open model and we'll select OK. In a sheet model, if you want to copy the drawing or rescale it, what we can do is to go under our references. Select our struct drawing section and we can change the scale. So you can change this to 1 is to 50. If you want to move it, you can go to our references and select move reference to move our drawing. 
Alternatively, you can right press and you can modify your reference by copying, scaling or moving your reference. Now that we've created our section and our plan, what we'll do is to print our sections to PDF. Go under File, Print, Print Organizer. We would add Files to Set and select Add. Move over to our Sheets folder and select both of our sheets. Select Done to confirm. We'll name this print style as PDF. Once it has loaded, we'll select the print icon to print. Make sure that the file name is set to PDF and we can submit this as either a single print job where it combines both sheets into one PDF or we can submit it as separate print jobs where it will, where it will create two separate PDF files. The destination will be our output dot folder and it will change the name to structural sheets. We will also select open print file after creation so that we will be able to see our structural sheets once it has loaded. Select OK. Once it has loaded, we will be able to see our structural sheets PDF. As we created it as a single print job, it combines our floor plan as well as our section. We hope you've enjoyed today's session. On your screen are some of the ways that you can get more information about Open Building Designer Connect Edition. Also, please don't forget to subscribe and like our page. Thank you.